Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Apa kabar semuanya? Diharap semuanya dalam keadaan, keadaan sehat walafiat Dipemudahkan segala urusan dan dimurahkan rezeki Kali ini saya menyentuh tentang 10 kota-kota besar di ASEAN Yang mempunyai pendapatan uh, kota itu secara GDP lah, Gross Domestic Product ataupun uh, pendapatan kota bruto ataupun pendapatan uh, daerah bruto apakah kota-kota itu uh, kita semak 10 kota dengan dengan pendapatan daerah bruto yang tertinggi di ASEAN apakah kota-kota itu Video ini adalah dari channel ASEAN Analytics Diharap anda subscribe ke channel ini Dan dapatkan banyak konten-konten yang menarik tentang ASEAN The CEO World Magazine published the 2023 edition of the world's wealthiest 300 cities. Out of the 300 cities listed, 10 Southeast Asian cities made in the list, with cities in Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand and the Philippines among the upper top 100, with over $190 billion in gross domestic product. Here are the top 10 wealthiest cities in Southeast Asia. Samarang. Indonesia. Semarang is the capital and largest city of central Java province. The fourth wealthiest city in Indonesia with over 41.1 billion dollars in gross domestic product. 41 miliar. Semarang serves as the main shipping port for central Java. Compared to Jakarta, this city is relatively new with many small manufacturers producing goods such as furniture, textiles, and foods. The city with 1.5 million inhabitants is facing an economic transition from an industry-based economy to services and trade. Semarang industrial area has moved to the outer part of the city and thus creates changes. Hanoi, Vietnam it is the second wealthiest city in Vietnam and ninth in Southeast Asia. Hanoi is the cultural, economic and education center of northern Vietnam. According to a recent ranking by PricewaterhouseCoopers, Hanoi will be amongst the fastest growing cities in the world in terms of GDP growth from 2008 to 2025. It has an area of 3,359.8 square kilometers and a population of 8.7 million in 2023. Medan, Indonesia. The city is the capital and largest city of the Indonesian province of North Sumatra. Acting as a financial center for Sumatra and a gateway to the western part of Indonesia, makes Medan a regional hub. Medan, Indonesia. <laughs> uh, GDP -nya? With over $52 billion in gross domestic product, Maidong is the third wealthiest city in Indonesia and ranks 8 in Southeast Asia. The city had a population of 2.5 million within its city limits, with over 3.6 million in its urban area. The Maidon metropolitan area is the largest metropolitan area outside of Java, with 4.8 million residents. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia Kuala Lumpur is the capital and biggest city in Malaysia. Though it is one of the smallest cities in Southeast Asia in terms of population, it is undeniable that Kuala Lumpur is one of the richest cities per capita in Asia. It contributes $59.8 billion and accounts for 14% of Malaysia's gross domestic product. The city serves as the cultural, financial, and economic center of Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur and its surrounding urban areas form the most industrialized and economically the fastest growing region in Malaysia. The city is visually defined by the iconic Petronas Twin Towers, which, at 88 stories high, 
are the tallest twin buildings in the world and a vision of modern architecture. Merdeka PNB 118 is another mega-tall skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur, the world's second tallest structure and the tallest building in Southeast Asia. Jadi Kuala Lumpur ni penduduknya tak tak ramai sebenarnya. Sebagai satu kota raya, dia punya penduduk dia hanya 2 juta. Selebihnya Greater Kuala Lumpur lah. Kalau termasuk Greater Kuala Lumpur tu 8 juta. Tapi kalau Kuala Lumpur sendiri uh, 2 juta. Maka walaupun pen, pendapatan Kuala Lumpur tu sama besar ni, hampir sama besar dengan Medan. Tapi Medan punya penduduk yang lebih ramai. Tiga kali lipat. Eh, dua setengah kali lipat. Medan uh, hampir lima juta lah. Tapi sebagai satu kota, Medan dua juta setengah. Jadi tinggi. Yang sebenarnya Medan tu satu kota yang kaya. Kuala Lumpur's transportation system is one of the most advanced in the region after Singapore. Every part of the city is well connected and covered by a variety of transport modes such as bus, rail, and taxi. As an alpha world city, Kuala Lumpur has an important economic role in the region of the world economy. Surabaya, Indonesia Surabaya punya, pe, <coughs> Surabaya punya pendapatan uh, daerah Bruto tu lebih tinggi daripada Kuala Lumpur. Tapi hanya penduduknya lebih ramai lah. Capital city of the Indonesian province of East Java and the second largest city in Indonesia. Located on the northeastern corner of Java Island, on the Madura Strait, it is one of the earliest port cities in Southeast Asia. With over $88.8 billion gross domestic product, Surabaya is Indonesia's second wealthiest city and ranked sixth in Southeast Asia. Surabaya is one of the four main central cities of Indonesia, with a population of over 3 million within its city limits and over 10 million in the extended Surabaya metropolitan area, making it the second largest metropolitan area in Indonesia. As a trading center, Surabaya is not only a trade center for East Java but also facilitates areas in Central Java, Kalimantan, and Eastern Indonesia. Surabaya's strategic location is almost in the center of Indonesia and just south of Asia making it one of the critical hubs for trading activities in Southeast Asia. Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam Ho Chi Minh City formerly known as Saigon is Vietnam's richest and largest city in terms of land area and population, beating its national capital Hanoi in the north. As the country's primary economic center, it accounts for 22% of Vietnam's gross domestic product or around $96.4 billion of gross domestic product. As Vietnam's largest economic center and cultural capital, Ho Chi Minh City boasts soaring skyscrapers that tower over charming French colonial structures and traditional pagodas from Saigon's yesteryear. Landmark 81, the tallest completed building in Southeast Asia is located in the city. This mixed-use urban development in Vinh Hong's central part is one of the emerging business districts of Vietnam. The biggest and busiest commercial center of the city is District 1. It contains most of the city's skyscrapers from corporate office buildings, hotels, the city's administrative offices, and consulates. It is also home to the Bidexco Financial Tower, an iconic landmark, a symbol of modernity mixed with cultural influences of the country. Driven by Vietnam's strong export industry, the city holds several industrial parks for its manufacturing industry which are involved particularly in software and electronics. Ho Chi Minh City is one of the four megacities in the region as categorized by demographia with a population of 13.3 million in its metropolitan area. The Globalization and World Rankings Research Institute designate Ho Chi Minh City as Beta World Cities. Metro Manila, Philippines Metro Manila, the national capital region of the Philippines, is the center of culture, economy, finance, education, and government of the country. It is the fourth richest city in the region and ranks among the upper 100 wealthiest cities in the world. With a gross domestic product of $192.6 billion which contributes to 44% of the country's economy. Jadi Manila ni, uh, sebuah 
kota raya yang dikategorikan sebagai Alpha Minus eh, itu di bawah Kuala Lumpur dengan Jakarta lah. Despite its small land area, the city is one of the global leaders in business process outsourcing in the world, holding almost 10% of the global BPO markets. Influenced by its robust service sector, Metro Manila holds the biggest central business district in the Asia Pacific. The most prominent CBD in the region is the Makati Central Business District, which is the premier business and commercial center of the Philippines. Bonifacio Global City is the premier financial and lifestyle center of the metropolis. Other major CBDs are Ortigas Center, Binondo, the Bay Area, and Alabang. Metro Manila ranks as one of the best shopping destinations in Asia. It holds the title as the world's number one in terms of total mall leasable area. Three out of the top 10 biggest malls in the world are also located within Metro Manila. The United Nation World Urbanization Prospects considered Metro Manila as the most populous city in Southeast Asia, and Demographia 2020 World Urban Areas tagged it the second most populated urban area after Jakarta. Designated as a global power city, Metro Manila exerts a significant impact on commerce, finance, media, research, technology, education, and entertainment, both locally and internationally. While the Globalization and World Rankings Research Institute designates Manila as World Alpha Minus City. Bangkok, Thailand Bangkok is the center of culture, economy, finance, education, and the government of Thailand. Jadi kedudukan Bangkok ni menghampiri separuh daripada pendapatan negara Brutu Thailand lah, pendapatan negara kasar Thailand 49% kontribusinya adalah Bangkok. Jadi Bangkok ni sebenarnya pendapatan yang cukup tinggi. Tapi kesenjangan tu berlaku lah antara Bangkok dan keseluruhan Thailand. Jadi tidak menggambarkan satu negara yang yang sehat. It is the third richest city in the region with a gross domestic product of 252.1 billion dollars which contributes to almost half of the country's economy or around 49% of its gross domestic product. While 22% of the Thai population live within the Bangkok metropolitan area, making Bangkok an extremely primate city, dwarfing Thailand's other urban centers in both size and importance to the national economy. With its location at the heart of mainland Southeast Asia, the city is now a regional force in finance and business in the Indochina subregion. It is an international hub for transport and healthcare and has emerged as a center for arts, fashion, and entertainment. Bangkok is one of the world's top tourist destinations and the most visited city. As the main gateway through which visitors arrive in Thailand, Bangkok is visited by the majority of international tourists to the country. The city's multi-faceted sites, attractions, and city life appeal to diverse groups of tourists. It is also famous for its dynamic nightlife. The city is also considered one of the megacities in the region. It ranks third in Southeast Asia and 16th place per Demographia 2020 World Urban Area. As an alpha world minus cities, Bangkok has an important economic role in linking the region to the world economy. Jakarta, Indonesia Jakarta is the center of the economy, culture, and politics of Indonesia. It is also the largest city in Southeast Asia and serves as the diplomatic capital of ASEAN. Jakarta is also the second richest city in the region with a gross domestic product of $308.2 billion, or around 22% of the country's economy. The city's economy depends highly on the manufacturing and service sectors. The Golden Triangle is the main central business district of Jakarta. Most of the business, financial, and diplomatic establishments are located in the area. This also forms the center of the city, where the majority of the high-rise office buildings and condominiums are concentrated. The World Travel and Tourism Council also listed Jakarta as among the top 10 fastest-growing tourism cities in the world. According to Demographia 2020 World's Urban Area, Jakarta is the largest urban area in Southeast Asia and the second largest in the world after Tokyo. As an alpha world city, Jakarta has an important economic role in linking the region to the world economy. Singapore 
The city-state of Singapore, as one of the four Asian tigers, its economy is the most advanced and highly developed in Southeast Asia. Considered the wealthiest city in the region with a gross domestic product of $515.5 billion with the highest per capita income of $87,000. Its economy is regarded as free, innovative, dynamic, and business-friendly, with a triple A credit rating from the Big Three, the only Asian country to achieve this rating. Tourism is a major industry, attracting almost 20 million international tourists, more than three times country's total population. Singapore is the fifth most visited city in the world and one of the in the Asia-Pacific. It has the world's highest percentage of millionaires, with one out of every six households having at least one million US dollars in disposable wealth. The city was rated the world's most expensive city several times by the Economist Intelligence Unit. Singapore ranks as an Alpha Plus World City, which is considered a highly integrated city that complements London and New York, largely filling in advanced service needs for Asia Pacific. Kota Raya yang dikategorikan sebagai Alpha Minus, eh, itu di bawah Kuala Lumpur dengan Jakarta lah. Jakarta tu Alpha City dan uh, Kuala Lumpur pun Alpha City. Uh, sementara Bangkok dan Manila Alpha Minus. Dan Ho Chi Minh tu Beta City. Beta City mana di bawah kategori ya. Nombor, nombor, nombor satu Alpha Plus jatuh Singapura. Nombor dua Alpha dekat tu Kuala Lumpur dengan Jakarta. Yang ketiga Alpha Minus. Uh, yang itu Manila dengan Bangkok. Jadi itulah kategori yang dibagi.